Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna go through and show you how to upgrade your DLSS version for any game you like on your computer using DLSS Swapper. If you don't wanna use that, I'll also show you how you can do it manually yourself without the third-party application. Let's get into it. On the left-hand side here, you can see I have the DLSS Swapper program open. On the right-hand side, I have my file explorer open where I have searched for the name of the DLSS file. You can see here at the top, we have Hellblade, so I'm just gonna use that as an example. If we right-click it, and we're gonna go Properties, I'm going to click details. You can see the version is 2.3.0. Let's get out of that. And DLS Swapper program is reporting the same 2.3.0. So we know that that is the file that it's reading. So now let's say I want to upgrade that. If I click it, <clears throat> and you can see up the top here, I've got 3.7.20. It's the latest version. I've already downloaded it. If you wanted to download an older one, uh, you can click the little download icon. You can also click library on the left hand side and just click download from here if you really want to. So let's click Hellblade, we're going to click 3.7.20, and we're going to click Swap. And you should see it down the bottom here, yep, there you go, it's just updated to 3.7.20. So now let's jump back into File Explorer, I'm going to refresh my search results here. We know that we updated Hellblade, so we're going to wait for the Hellblade option. Yep, and you can see there's two different ones. The top one is just the original DLL file that gets renamed to .dlsss. If the bottom one down here is the new one. So we're gonna right click that and we're gonna check on properties and we're gonna make sure that the digital signature still says NVIDIA Corporation, which it does, great. And we're gonna check details. I'm gonna see it's 3.7.20, cool. We know this is now upgraded to the latest version. It's that easy, that simple. That's how you do it using DLSS Swapper. If maybe you didn't wanna use DLSS Swapper, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that program and we're going to just have File Explorer open up here. Let's use uh, Kena Bridge of Spirits as an example now. So if you right click this one and we go properties, we can see that the details is 2.3.1. And for the sake of this, I'm actually going to open the file location of this tab. So we know that that is Kena's file. I'm now in that location. You can see it at the top here. It's buried in my Steam Apps folder on my computer, which is where the program is installed. We're going to open up uh, Chrome, you want to search techpower.dlss, come to their website, and on the left-hand side, you'll get all the latest versions, which will mirror what DLSS Swapper shows you. You can click download on one of these. I'm just going to select uh, download server US1. <clears throat> Give it a moment for that to download. Yep, done. Click it. And you'll see that in my downloads folder now, I have a zip file for DLSS 3.7.20, which is the latest one. This is the exact same thing that DLS Swapper does, just you're now doing it manually. So I now have this same file. We're going to extract all, and we're going to do it at the same location. That's fine. It's only temporary. Cool. Awesome. So now if I go back to my downloads, you'll see that it's extracted the actual folder. So I'm going to click this. I'm going to check the DLSS file. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to click Properties. Check the different signature. Yep, NVIDIA Corporation. The date is 2024. Awesome. Details 3.7.20.0. So this is the same thing that DLSS Swapper did for Hellblade, doing it manually. You're going to the Tech Power Up website, you're downloading the latest version, and now you want to just copy it or cut it, and you're just going to dump it into the same location. So we know that it's here. So we can get rid of this, and we can paste in the new one. So what I've effectively just done, yep, 3.7.20. What we've done is we've taken the pre-existing 2.3.01 and we've now replaced it with the latest version of DLSS. The same thing that DLSS Swapper does, but we did it manually. Thanks for watching. Hey, one more thing I completely forgot to mention, and that is following manually updating Keena's DLSS file, you can see that my DLSS Swapper is reporting the file correctly as the one that we've updated to, which is great. However, you may want to make sure to take a backup of that original DLSS file. You can see for Hellblade, which I use DLSS Swapper for, I have a reset option because it will, that was that DLSSS file that was shown. But if I click on Kina, you can see that there is no restore option. Because we did it manually, it just knows that I have 3.7.20 and it just thinks that that is what the game always had. Thanks.